right, so this is a quickie for the, all you guys out there, all ADD and like, dude, I ain't got time for a 20-minute lesson. Just teach me riffs, quick. So anyways, we're going to do like three quick riffs in A. <laughs> Just because I love A. But anyways, click the links below. Tons of stuff. Just check it out. You'll never know unless you check below. Bam, -ba -ba bam, man. You'd think I had Cokes tonight. Maybe just some coffee. Anyways, before I talk too much and babble in a caffeine-induced haze, let's get started with this. All right, so that riff is kind of, you know, floating, as usual, between A major and minor. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to outline a major chord. So I'm going to go from the G string 6th fret, hammer on, or pick, in this case I'm hammering on, straight into the B string, 5th fret to 7th fret, and then I'm going to bend up a half step, which is going to sound like the 8th fret, so we got, one more time, now you can hammer on all of those notes, pick it. You know, whatever you like. So I'm going to bend up a half step, bring it down, and pull off. And then I'm going to go the 7th fret G to the 7th fret B. So all together again, we got... back to the G string 7th fret and then I'm going to go from the minor 3rd to the major 3rd of A right so we got Seven to five on the D. I'm gonna go up to seven on the A. Back to five on the D. And then I'm just gonna go down seven, six, five, four. So we got. to riff number two. All right, riff number two. Okay, so we're gonna break this down into sections. We're gonna go sliding in on the B up to the 12th fret into a whole step bend. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and forth from 12 to 10 twice. So we got... Right? And then we're going to slide down a half step to 9 on the E. And then we're going to go to 10 on the B. Back to 9 on the E. So we got... Alright, now the next part we're going to pull off from 10 to 8 on the B. And then we're going to go... So what that is, is you're going to go G9, B10, G9, B8. So we got... And then when you get here, you're going to slide down a half step 
to the seventh fret of the B string and bend it up a half step. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pull off from nine to seven on the G. We're gonna go to the D string, ninth fret, back to the G string, seventh fret. Okay, so all together we got. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide up on the D string from 9 to 11. And then we're going to grab the 10 on the B. And then we're going to do it again. And then we're going to finish the riff with a quick bend on the 12th fret B. So that last part was... This is a riff where it all can be picked. I can do, or I do, I shouldn't say I can do, you can do it too. Uh, hybrid picking sometimes when those string skips. So when I go up to this part. I use my middle finger to grab that B string. Now you can use hybrid picking throughout the whole riff if you want. Or you can pick it. Now when I slide up there, I'm grabbing the B on an upstroke. So I'm sliding in on a downstroke, upstroke, down, up. Upstroke, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So you can do picking however you want it. That's just, I, I like alternate picking. So experiment with both, hybrid, alternate, all downstrokes, whatever works good for you. Now remember, when you pick up, and away from the string, you know, down strokes are down and in. When you do an up stroke, you're picking up and out. So sometimes the up and out gets a little bit more snap. Whereas the down stroke, you know, it has uh, a little bit of a push. Right, so. You're getting a little more pop. And that's also why I use my hybrid picking fingers as well because you really get a snap to the string. So that's just a little lesson on dynamics. So play with all those different, you know, ideas. All right, let's go on to riff number three. So right there, we're gonna slide up to 11 on the G. We're gonna go to 10 on the B. 12 on the B. Then we're gonna hit 12 again. So we got. Now as this is B string, 12th fret is bent up a whole step. We're gonna sneak our pinky in on the 12th fret E string. And then I'm gonna come back to the B and release the bend. And then go to tw uh, 10 on the B. And then I'm gonna go back to 11. 12 on the B. 11 on the G, 10 on the B. So
gonna switch into a minor position. We're gonna grab 13 on the B. Then we're gonna go 10 on the E, 12 on the E. We're gonna bend up that 13 again a whole step and then release it and then pull off to 10. Then we're gonna go 12 on the G, 13 on the B, 12 G, 10 B. that little uh, 13 whole step bend, another one of those muted out when you get up to the pitch. So we got. Now I would use these riffs, both of those riffs actually over like an A to C to D. So in this A chord,